Top of the news tonight, it's a multi-million dollar war between two companies telling the public that they each have the best Omega product with huge health benefits. But it's one riddled with controversy involving a local church leader and dozens of documents between lawyers, government officials and businessmen. Tonight we begin a three-part series bringing you the truth behind the Omega and Shawcure products, including a report from a New Jersey lab that dispels all claims being made by one of the products. Samson Nanton traveled to Fort Lauderdale yesterday to speak to the makers of the Omega XL product, and he joins us now with more. Sam? Uh, yeah, Golda Kamal. Well, it's a story we've been following for some time now. We've got a bulk of documents with very, very shocking disclosures. And over the next, th uh, next three days, starting tonight, an interview with the Chief Operating Officer of Great Health Works, uh, some of which will actually shock you. May 1st, 2014, the Legal Counsel of Great Health Works writes to the Ministry of Health from its offices in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Our company is the owner of Omega XL, an Omega-3 supplement that is being distributed worldwide and has been approved by the Ministry of Health for distribution in your country. We are writing to express our deep concern for a product being sold in your country, Shokyo, that is making disease medical claims without proper clinical substantiation, while at the same time disparaging our Omega XL product. Product. This was the beginning of a two-page letter in what has been an ongoing battle between Shokyo and Omega XL via claims and counterclaims of the effectiveness of each product in advertisements in the local media. In the letter, the legal counsel for Great Health Works raised a red flag, warning the Ministry of Health about the Shokyo product and what the product contains. We are unaware of any studies regarding the ingredients in Shokyo that would support the claims being made in their advertising. We request that your officers immediately investigate Shokyo and cause them to cease in this activity and the misleading advertising taking place. Pharmacies in Trinidad and Tobago should have the right to know the truth about Shokyo so they can make an informed decision whether to sell the product to the public. On Monday, I traveled to Fort Lauderdale to speak with the Chief Operating Officer of Great Health Works and I asked him about the dangers of claims on the Shore Cure packaging. And when we tested it, uh, we have a lab report here that shows that it contains none of such a thing. Now, here in the United States, if someone were to do that, um, it's a very serious offense. When you mislabel, knowingly mislabel a product and you have people thinking they're taking something and they're taking something else, and so, you know, from a concern perspective, anything operating in that manner and having any association with us at all is a concern to us. But what did the Ministry of Health do? Absolutely nothing. No investigation was initiated and Shokyo has continued to sell its Omega Ultra product on the market. But Great Health Works did not stop there. The company would send samples of its Omega XL product and the Shokyo tablets to ISSI Laboratories Inc. in New Jersey to analyze what exactly are in the two products and whether Shokyo's claim could be substantiated. The results do not show the Shokyo product in a good light. The sample of Shokyo Omega Ultra showed some common fatty acids, notably palmatic acid and steric acid. The absence of omega oils or their presence at very low levels in this sample is significant. It is unclear why such a conspicuous group of compounds were not detected here. If someone were to try to come close to this, they would have to have a very high standard fish oil of some type to even get close to what we have. Well, in the case of SureCure, the the study came back and the uh, lab report came back and said there's literally no omega-3s in it. So I, you know, like I said, it's very, very different. The report concludes, the label claims of Shokyo Omega Ultra cannot be reconciled with its components. The expected ingredients, omega fatty acids, are either at very low levels or at below detectable limits. I asked Mr. Dupre if there were any health risks associated with the Shokyo product. All I know is that if um, someone tells you that you look at the label and it says it's got XYZ in it, yeah. then you're going to have faith that it's really got XYZ in it. And if it doesn't, why not? Yeah. Right? And so um, for, for us, that's really the, the crux of the matter. This report, too, has been forwarded to the Ministry of Health for action. Mr. Dupree says his company, meanwhile, has been losing revenue as a result of all that has transpired. We believe in trying to do things the right way. And so, um, 
you know, as time progressed, when there was this question about which product was really real or not, certainly it's affected us uh, financially from that standpoint. But, you know, I believe at the end of the day, when you do the right thing, things come out. Yeah. Um, the, the truth is shown. And, uh, you know, you just have to stay, stay in, the, in doing yeah. the right thing and, and you'll be in a benefit at the end of the day. that interview in Fort Lauderdale yesterday. You won't want to miss a follow-up report tomorrow, however. You'd hear what Mr. Dupre has to say about local, a local church leader's connection with his product. Uh, we've been trying to reach the people behind Shokyo to find out what they think about all of this and to get their response, but so far they have not acceded to our request for an interview. Don't miss tomorrow's report. It's a bit salacious if you want to call it th that way, but it's going to bring out far more in terms of how Shokyo and uh, Omega XL have been fighting with each other and all that transpired in the past involving a local church leader. Don't miss it. Gola, Kamal, back to you.